Do you have a tagline for this? Get Tinder. Scam Scandinavian women. All these flags are red. Yeah. The Tinder swindler, like you said, is about a guy who try, it goes on Tinder to find women. He makes them believe he is a billionaire of a diamond magnate, I guess you yes. would say. Uh, uh, about who's in it. It's just regular people. It's a documentary. Totally regular people, which yeah. is kind of kind of good. Like I thought it was going to be, when I was first watching it, I thought they were doing uh, reenactment things. Oh, yeah, no. And then later on, I was like, oh, these are the actual people. This is insane. This came out February 2nd on Netflix. We can't really talk about this much without spoiling it, right? No, we can't. So I would, I would say if a documentary about a guy who swindles women on Tinder, like if the title interests you, watch this. Yeah. Um, if you don't want to know any spoilers about it, but otherwise, I guess we're just getting into spoilers now. Did you did you like this? Did I like it? Uh, did you have fun I found watching it? it? Yeah. I found it. I found it engaging enough. Yeah. Where it was like this is you know at, after the first twenty minutes, it's like okay, I don't know how long I can really watch just people continually going through the same story, but seeing yeah the progression of as this dude got figured out. The way it wove in together at the end was satisfying yes. at the end, but like I would say like three quarters of the way through when you find out the first woman's story paralleled the third woman's story. I thought that was interesting. Yeah. yeah I mean like, and the first, did you like, how long did it take you to, to realize that he was what he, what exactly he was doing? Do you remember the point where you were like, Oh, this is, this is what's going on. Was it when he asked her for a credit card or did you figure it out before then? I mean, the name is the Tinder swindler. Yes, but like, what was the what was the first like actual like okay, very bad. Uh, Did you have, you have a moment see. like that when he sent her he, pictures of the guy with the bloody head? I was like, this is a scam. Like, there's no fucking oh, way yeah. you would do this. Like, if I got into a fight at three a.m. or someone tried to attack me or something, I I'm not waking my wife up. No, I'm waiting to the next fucking day. I'm not like you. The only reason you would do that is because you're trying to create like a sensationalized sort of reaction. Yeah. Like I'm probably calling my dad first if this happens. I don't think, yeah, I don't know. Like, I don't, before, I'm not, I'm not waking yeah. my wife up though, unless I need right. to. So this is something that this guy was like texting his girlfriend quotes that, uh, he was in trouble. Yeah. But like five minutes in, I was like, what is this guy's angle? What is he getting out of this? Cause I actually thought he might've been the son of a billionaire that was doing it. And then later on I was like, no, no fucking way you're asking somebody that you just met like weeks ago for money if you're actually rich. Yeah, the se- I mean, the second he asked for money, yeah. it's 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 very clearly over. It's like, uh, you have anybody else on the planet that can give you a ridiculous amount of money. Yeah. Now, the the fraudulent checks thing that he was sending to that woman to like get her to get better loans, mm-hmm. that's, I'm not going to lie, that's kind of genius little shit. Smart, yeah. Like... This is his scam was pretty well thought out and worked out. And even like they were saying in the movie, most authorities don't really care. Yeah. Because they don't care about the individual. Apparently, that's a worldwide thing. If you scam a corporation, you're going to fucking prison. Yes. But if you scam a person, they're like, you're a person. We don't give a shit about you're you. Like, Oh yeah, some guy stole all your money. Ooh, yeah, yeah. That's sure. Yeah, the guy stole your money. But if you scam like fifteen dollars from like, I don't know, a hedge fund or something, that you're going like as a yeah. guy who's not rich, you're going to fucking mm. jail. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, I I don't know. I I wrote it was quite interesting throughout. I never felt bored, and I was mostly invested in the victims and their stories. I did not love the outcome of the whole thing, however. Really didn't fucking love that. Sort of how bad... he's just still out and about. Yeah, pretty much probably yeah. doing the same thing. We don't have proof of that, but come on. How's he got a Ferrari almost, and shit? I almost followed him on Instagram. You like respect it, though. Kind of. End. I just wanted to see, but I don't want to know. Yeah. And I don't want to act like I'm uh, yeah. giving that any kind of green light. Sort of leaves a bad taste in your mouth. Makes you hopeful the diamond guy hears about it and doesn't take kindly to someone pretending to be his son. Yeah. Like, like maybe, maybe he breaks uh, his kneecaps, maybe more. He's got the billions and billions and he works in a shit industry. So very shit. Yeah. <laughs> so he could probably put an end to this tomorrow. I mean, that's obviously um, the reason why he chose this as part of the scam. Like the diamond industry is terrible. What know? was your favorite part of this? My favorite part. Um, 
pretty much every time where he he said anything about like someone being his enemy, I just thought that was hilarious. Okay. I don't I don't really know if I have like a favorite part otherwise, but I'm assuming that the uh the women that appeared in this show are now being paid for their appearance. Uh maybe. Probably. So they're actually getting their money back. And that I seems pretty good. I wouldn't say that, but you I mean, it'd back. be pretty shit if you're like if you're like, "Hey, here's a uh, here's this show about your horrible situation. You can come on and talk about it. Tell us all about it. And we're going to give you 50 bucks. Yeah. I don't really know how much if you, you know, get paid in it at all for documentaries, how that works. Right. But. Cause I know like the, so the newspaper article they mentioned or like the online news article, whatever that they mentioned about it. Um, there's no way that paid, but this like, if 100 million people just watched this thing about your scam, or you being scammed, like you should probably get, at least get your money back, right? Like Dude, Netflix, does Netflix pay out bonuses though? I mean, like, we talked about shit like this before. Like, I don't know how that works. Yeah. I mean, it's Netflix, for, if it was for, like a theater release and it made a lot of money, you'd be like, yo, I need a percentage, like, which you'd probably sign for in the, in the first place. But, but what Netflix do you get? puts out $80 million movies, $100 million movies, $200 million movies. Those people get paid up front. Right. A lot. So like, yeah, they do. So like to do this where all the work's done for you, the video content's already there except for the live interviews. Like if you pay five people a quarter million dollars, like you're way under budget. You just had to, you know, you have to spend another what million dollars on production. Netflix is making Tinder Swindler documentary into a movie. So maybe they'll get their money from that because they get to sell right. their story. But I don't really know if you get, if even that, like who... Oh, knows. the women! The women from Tinder Swindler set up a GoFundMe page to recoup what they lost. So yeah, because at the end it said they were still paying their debts off. Also, Tinder has removed the man in the document. That was twenty three hours ago. That's really funny. Because we watched they, this. They I watched what? this like the day it came out. Yeah, so did I. What did they do? They removed what? They removed his Tinder account. He's he's oh. banned from Tinder. Oh no. Okay, Netflix. Listen, Netflix. Just fucking pay these women. If you didn't, like, we don't know, but yeah, I don't didn't. know how documentaries work, to be honest. Yeah, but this is, it's, it's honestly super dirty if you're not paying them. If you do know how documentaries you, work, let us know. They gave you a shitload of content that the whole world is Googling and talking about. And the best thing that's going to come from this is like Tinder is going to delete this dude. Yeah. Like just pay, pay off their debt for them. Like you have yeah. the money. You just, you just raise your rates on like 300 million users by like another 50 cents. Like. It's a drop in the bucket. You got it. Yeah, I legitimately feel bad for these women, man. Yeah. Liz was curious how long the first one knew him before everything went down, and apparently it was not that long. No. Like, when he was like, yeah, let's move in together, I was like, yo, this is just... Yeah, that's crazy shit. He's just trying to be like, I love you. Trust me. We're going to live together. We're starting a life. Not giving me all your fucking money. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, he did it. He was really smart about it, but I do hope that... uh What did he serve? Like, five months? For other crimes that he five committed in Israel? For, five months for the fraudulent passport. Yeah. He needs to... Something else needs to happen to this guy. Other than yeah. just being banned from Tinder. Yeah. You hear that, Mr. Leviev Diamond Man? I'm not saying he should I'm be not, killed. I'm, yeah. I'm not saying... Yeah. Don't... Don't... Don't hurt him, but make him... Make him pay. I'm not saying that either, but... <laughs> no, just like, you know... <laughs> make him work in a diamond mine if you want it to be a diamond guy. So yeah, bad. that... That works. That's I'm, sort of the like, that's like the dishonored ending. Like, do you kill him or do you put yeah. him in the mine? You put him in the mine. Put him in the mine. Probably worse. It is worse. But yeah, I, I feel like this was a lot more interesting than I expected it to be. It held my interest throughout. I do feel like it should have been like 10 minutes shorter. I don't know where you cut that yeah. from. But it yeah. was like an hour and 50, right? It was just long enough where... Like it was a little. Like it ran the, a little long. Yeah, like it was a it was a long denouement. Yeah, possibly. I feel like once he was once he was caught, it's like you could basically do like an eighties movie thing where it's like at the bottom, it's like this person yeah. is this, this person is this, this person is this, this guy's this. Doesn't that suck? And yeah, I think yeah, I don't know. I don't know if you cut that honestly, but it did sort of make it seem like a triumphant ending for him, which is right. why the ending, like like I said. It leaves a bad taste in your mouth. It's a non-satisfying ending, that's for sure. Yeah. That's it. I would recommend it. Yeah. Less than two hours. 
It's on Netflix. Everybody has Netflix or knows someone that does. Mm-hmm. So there you go. 